The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't support conversion therapy for sexual orientation because it's not effective. You can't yeah, change someone who's gay or bisexual and just straight. But no, either, for children, but, children, but, their gender identity can change, can especially have, with can age. Can we have a dialogue? It's obvious that you don't understand gender identity. And that's really all we're okay. talking about. Let's just start with that. Gender okay, identity. Okay, so what is it starts, I don't understand? Gender identity has certainly has a biological influence, as you point out, but it is not the sole thing. We're not locked into gender cages based simply upon the presence or absence of a penis. And that's really what the premise of your book is, is all about. Uh, and it, it, there, are, there are multiple inputs it, that, that, that add to gender identity. And the fact that people are exploring that is, is what is the threat? What is the threat? Uh, this is about pursuing happiness and, and living a truly gendered life that may not lie on the extremes of the gender binary. I need to bring Dr. Ish in here now. So as physicians, we understand the interface of the biologic component, the, the hormonal influence, but on top of that, also the influence that you're getting from nature, from your peers, and the environment that you are in. Yeah, it's... Um... It's a fluid discussion, right? Um, we use two words as in psychiatry and psychology to talk about adolescence. The first word is identity. You're trying to figure out who you are and how you're gonna show up in the world. The second word is confusion because it's natural to be confused about it and to vacillate and to go back and forth. The goal of puberty is to help you figure it out. You know, Dr. Marcy, you said it, it's not just about what you were born with, you know, those sex organs. It's also about the secondary socialization, which is a huge part of that, right? You, you can't figure it out in a vacuum. You've got to go through the process and you've got to be able, you've got to be allowed to have those conversations to figure it out. I really want to focus on, on the issue that I, I, I want to discuss for our viewers, and that's the appropriate age to start introducing this, and is school the right, the right venue to, to start this discussion? You know, in my mind, maybe it's, it's better to, to start with the parents, so. Well, uh, listen, can I just say, it's really not about starting a discussion or encouraging uh, kids to follow a gendered, uh, an alternatively gendered pathway. It's really about respecting the individual, no matter how small, no matter what minority they are. In my day, kids were simply beaten if they were different. They were beaten, they were tortured, they were bullied. Now kids are so much more kind. And this is where public schools uh, can be such a positive role model for future life. Uh, children are treating them, each other better than they were. And it's because of things like this where they respect even the smallest minority by affirming pronouns and any other minority status that they may have. 